Hello YouTube, today uh, we are going to be taking a deeper look into my 4 cylinder inline engine. Uh, it's the finished version, or almost. I could be doing some uh, aesthetic stuff on it, but really that's useless. This is the functional version. Um, in my last video I shown the valve cover, including the valves. Well, right now we have all of the valves set it up. There are 16 of them. These ones are a little bit messed up. Well, it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, two, four, six, eight. Moving on to 10, 12, 14, 16 valves. And this is a dual red cam uh, engine, of course. So, how does it work? Uh, it's pretty classic. Uh, we have a crankshaft with four pistons. Um, the firing timing on the valves uh, is piston number one, piston number three, four, two. So, in the real life, if you had real explosions in this engine, uh, you would have a, a reported pattern which would increase stability and we also have the piston configuration, two in the middle and two on the sides. We also have the counterweights on the crankshaft. Um, this part of the crankshaft is kind of buggy, really. Um, with, I started from the valve cover and went all the way down to the camshaft, and that's the reason why I have this little problem here. But that's that's fine, I mean, it doesn't break that much. Sometimes it does, but I mean, it, it does do the job, so it's fine. Then we have a chain over here that goes all the way up to the top of the cam of the the engine. It is attached to this wheel, which is attached to another one, which is also attached to the other one. So that allows the two camshafts to move. I'll be showing you <coughs> that with a drill. So, right now I'm pulling the chain, makes the piston move, as I told you, makes this move, and then we have the camshafts rotating, and you can take a look at the, the valves, we have the exhaust valves that are popping before, and right after the intake valves, so that's just normal stuff. Um, I was talking about adding a VVTi thingy to this, but I did not. That's mostly because it was way too complicated to uh, change the cam phasing with RPMs, and it wouldn't even be noticeable with the high. So I just just threw that over, and I decided not to do it. So we're going to be testing the engine with a can you see that? Uh, that well, that's 1.6k revolutions per minute. Well, I guess you can barely see it, so it's not that bad. So we'll be testing it on the engine. Um, I know it doesn't go as fast as my V10. It's still pretty quick. I mean, it's normal. The crankshaft is not really designed to go. Is not as strong as the other one, but yeah, it still does a good job. This time, maybe I'm gonna be sure that my crankshaft, my drill is well placed. Hold on. Oh yeah, it's fine. Okay, so I'll show you. So that's at low speed, we're not going super fast, that's kind of normal speed. Listen to the engine, it sounds kind of like your engine when you just started up and it's so cold, the valves.
Oops. What the fuck happened? Oh. Well. I guess I've been too fast. <laughs> well, that, that actually never happened to me before. But yeah. We, we saw what it was doing, so... I guess it's enough for the video. I'll shut it down. I hope you liked it. Um, I'm looking for ideas on how to improve it. Uh, I'm not going to be making an intake manifold or exhaust manifold. That's just, that's just pretty much useless. And I don't have that much pieces left. So, um, yeah. If you guys have any uh, suggestions, um, I could lubricate it, maybe. <laughs> that would help, certainly, uh, to go faster. I could also apply hot glue at spots where it breaks but well I don't know so we'll see so have a nice day thank you